Tell me when I'm ready. Hey guys, this is my project for the Robots for Disabilities course. And uh, this is what uh, I've made. This is a smart cane. And unlike other smart canes, um, this is not used as uh, assistance for um, blind people. This is, however, used for used to assist old people. The problem is most of the time old people have difficulty trying to reach objects that are placed at a higher um, level or objects that are on the ground because it's really difficult for them to stretch and it's really also hard for them to bend and pick an object. So this is a smart cane and this is actually an attachment as you can see here. There is an easy mechanism for you to just snap the entire uh, box on and then clip it with this white cable, um, plastic cable. So in this case, we have a gripper mechanism attached to the motor, um, servo motor, and then uh, there is an Arduino microcontroller connected to a Wi-Fi shield in this box, and then the second box contains the batteries. And there is an RGB um, sensor which can detect the color. So as you can see from the app, there are two modes in the app. One is the manual mode, which has just the catch and release buttons. And then there is an auto mode, which we'll see. In the, in the, in the primary uh, example, we just connected already. This connects, the iPad connects to the device via Wi-Fi, and it's already connected. And as you can see, when I press the catch button, it grip, the gripper closes, and when I press the release, it opens. Now, in auto mode, we have four options. We have sugar, salt, coffee, and tea. Each item is associated with a color and we are required and we have color coded our containers to match with this um, algorithm so sugar is present in red container salt is in a green container coffee is in a blue container and tea is in a yellow container so this RGB LED RGB sensor is going to detect the color of the container and once we go close to it, it's going to grip it. So let's try sugar. So in here we have um, four boxes with four different colors, blue, green, red, and yellow. So in this case, we're going to select sugar, which is a red color. Now let's see what the gripper does. So automatically gripped it, and it's going to hold on to it till you just pull it away from it. Now let's try getting some coffee which is a green container. It's not gonna detect any other container because, oh shit. Oh, it is, the, the coffee is in the blue container. That makes sense. Now there are two other containers. There's tea which is yellow and salt which is green. Now, the user does not have to know the color codes. It's the designer who needs to know it. So when I say salt, it's only gonna pick up, salt is in a green container. So if I go to yellow, it's not gonna detect it. It's not gonna detect it. But when I go to green, it detects it. There we go. And I can pull it away from it. And we'll just finish off with T, which is the yellow. Yellow seems to have a very high threshold, so the bigger, another disadvantage, um, apart from the fact that it is pretty heavy with, due, with, uh, due to batteries, is the fact that since this has an RGB sensor, it has a certain sensitivity to light. Well, this system, in it, as of now, uses an RGB sensor, but in the future, it can have, since we're gonna um, have the capability to replace these batteries with something much lighter and powerful, we can also have a mini computer it's like a Raspberry Pi instead of an Arduino and we can have a camera that's looking at the scene instead of an RGB sensor. So there is a lot of scope for improvement and as we can see for smaller examples like sugar it works perfectly. Ta-da! Thank you.